Teddy Bear Transport, this lunch recorder. This is Chris. How may I help you? Transport team does approximately 2,300 transports per year, um, and that's broken down between ground, fixed wing, and rotor wing. I say, you call, we haul. One thing that I love about our team um, is that we have all worked together for a really long time, and we have a lot of trust in each other. We anticipate each other's needs. We know that our neonatologist and our ICU and our hospital, they support us, they support what we do, they are always, they're always there for us no matter, no, no matter what we have to do. Okay, we do have a helicopter available at this time. And sir, our neonatologist has accepted this patient. We will be sending our crew and our helicopter out there shortly. And in the meantime, if there's anything we can do, please let us know and we'll be out there just as quick as we can. Bye-bye. 102, 204, 105. So the first thing we do is we get the page or they call us out on the radio and, and give us a heads up. If we're here in the hangar, they'll say, you know, you have a, a pending call. Um, and then we gather up our equipment based on what they've told us so far and, and the mode of transport that we're going to be using, whether it's airplane, helicopter, or ground transport. And then um, in a timely fashion, 10 minutes or less, we get in the ambulance, the aircraft, and we get secured and we get on the road. I really love the team that we work with and, and where we get to work. I, you know, it's, I really feel like it's a huge honor to be able to, to do what I do. And en route, Waco. You know, they really are just calling because they need help. They call because they want to come to the best possible place. And some of these nurses get real worked up and the physicians are nervous and want the child to be transferred out as quickly as possible because that's not what they do on a daily basis. What we see every day these small, tiny hospitals may see once in a lifetime. One of the best things I like about it is the fact that when we come in, we can help alleviate the parents' fear, we can help alleviate the staff's fear. Um, we're, most of the time, we are their first contact um, with cooks and with how their child is going to be taken care of. So it's very important for us. Um, that we make them feel comfortable and safe and let them know that they're going to get the best care possible. Our team is very, very specialized in the care that we give. It's like we bring the intensive care unit to a referral hospital, to a very small hospital. Um, a lot of the places that we go, um, the people there are not real comfortable taking care of children, especially newborn babies. Um, so they're very afraid, they're very scared when the babies get sick. Um, and we're able to bring pretty much our ICU um, right to them. We have all the equipment that they use in the ICU, pretty much just in a more portable form. We're getting information, we're looking at the patient, we're gathering information on based on how the patient looks. And then based on what the patient needs, we stabilize the patient. We call report back to the um, neonatologist, get input on how, you know, methods of ventilation. And then we make sure the patient is safe and we package the patient into the isolate. Also securing the patient for transport, we use their little safety harness, hook up all our equipment, the monitors, we may even get one more blood gas before we get ready to walk out the door just to make sure that the patient is well stabilized before we depart. There's nowhere else that is better than, than Cook's. Um, as far as the care that's given, the quality of care that's given, the specialty physicians that we have and care that we have. It's 
So on, on here is, is my nurse's note. So pretty much what I went in and found and um, the care I'm going to give and the orders I received from the doctor. And then I'm going to call report. I called report already to the ER doctor at Cook's and now I'm going to call report to the charge nurse so they'll know we're coming and they can be ready. We'll check their vital signs at least every 30 minutes, if not more often, depending on the, the, the critical nature of their condition. Um, we do our charting on the way home. Um, we review history, pertinent history from the patient's chart that we didn't get to cover during the report phase. Uh, a lot of times we have a parent with us. We will discuss things that are going on with their um, child or infant during the flight. And um, when we land, of course, we, we get the patient safely into the NICU or the PICU, whichever dis destination they have. And it's very rewarding to watch the baby then go into the hands of those skilled professionals. We, we work very well together. When we go into a very stressful situation, everyone knows their job, everyone works together, and you, you're not spending a lot of time explaining to each other what needs to be done. Everyone knows what needs to be done and everyone works really well together. We've all got collectively hundreds of years experience. We're a, we're a senior team. Each specialty also brings a lot to the team. So we have the respiratory therapist, the paramedic, and then the RN. And each one of those specialties have years and years of experience. And we do take care of frail patients. Um, however, when we bring our expertise together and use it as a, in a team approach, then we see really good results with our patients. You know, you, you come to Cook Children's because it's a higher level of care but and then after you get here you realize that it's more than just a higher level of care it's people that truly are invested in your child's well-being you know as mothers it's it's your worst fear that something is wrong with your child um, whether they're sick or whether they're injured um, that's what you're most afraid of and so having someone come in who knows what they're doing and what to do to take care of your child and and having the reassurance that everything is going to be taken care of in the best way possible I know is important to every every parent. Before my youngest was in the hospital I didn't realize how traumatic it was to have your child taken away to a facility that you knew nothing about but now that I have been on the other side I can honestly tell them that we're going to provide the best care to them. Um, when you come to Cook Children's, it's because you need specialized care. If 
you're coming, they need to know that they're coming for the best possible care that their child can receive. We're not just people that are looking at equipment and what we can do. We care about their, their child. And we have fun. We all love what we do. And we have fun doing it. We have fun taking care of, of children. And we do all really care about the outcome and, and what happens to this, this little, someone's little child. You have to do what you're passionate about. It doesn't matter what you do, you've got to be passionate about it. It doesn't matter if you have a beautiful facility, a brand new EC-145, a beautiful plane, um, a wonderful new NICU with 104 private rooms. You have to concentrate on what's most important, and it's the patient. If, and I was told, if you err on the side of the child, you'll never be wrong. So if you do what's best, always do what's best for the baby. You always do what's best for the pediatric patient. You can't be wrong. What I said before about our people who get into neonatal nursing and medicine do it for the babies, I think people who go to work at Cook's do it for the children. I think the primary goal and why people are so satisfied there is because we want to deliver the best care possible to our community's children. And then if everybody has that same goal, is still oriented towards that, then we do wind up delivering that kind of care. It's rewarding, it feels good. When you feel good about something, you do a better job every time. You want to take care of a child and make a difference in someone's life. You know, I've got children now that I've transported some 25 years ago that come back to the neonatal reunion. And everybody does it for that same reason. They all want to be here because they want to see that mom take that baby home or that four-year-old walk out of the ER. That's why we do this. You know, because you walk down the hall and they remember your name or the family is so happy and gives you a hug. That's why you do it, because you know you're doing what's best for the patient and the family as a whole. The future, I think, is, is going to be amazing at Cooks, and it's, I'm excited to see how it's going to grow, and you know, it's already a wonderful place to work for, so I'm, ex I'm excited about the future. This is the best place to work because you're doing what you want to do. You want to take care of a child and make a difference in someone's life.